Aloha, this is Lisa Trim Simmons Brown, and I'm trying to show you the exquisiteness of the beauty as I walk. Today, isn't that beautiful? Okay, I haven't done this in a few years and um, walked and taken y'all with me so. This ought to be fun. Um, there is a lot going on, and uh, as we all know, it tends to be uh, the case at all times now. Mm. Multidimensionality uh, takes on a whole new aspect. Um, Uh, the more we get into uh, this journey, uh, the more uh, we embrace, uh, the more light we hold. Um, quantum is an understatement. Um, and wow, none of us could have seen any of this. I know I didn't. Uh, maybe others did. Can't answer for anything. All I know is that I don't know anything until I experience it. Um, and I was um, shown years ago to put the books down, um, stop the seeking, um, to listen, honor, trust in every moment, and I did. Um, there is no better teacher than the universe, our universe, um, our higher self aspects. There is absolutely nothing, isn't that beautiful, uh, that can replace uh, the guidance and information uh, that we receive when we truly listen, honor, and respect this journey as a sacred one and from inside. Okay, so most don't know how to listen, which is what we do as Ascension Guides. We assist in, in bringing through, uh, have to use the word higher realms only because uh, we don't have appropriate words for what this is anymore. Um, being multidimensional, there's no higher or lower. It's just a space. We just move between them. Um, everything is in parallels. Everything is in dimensions. Everything is in frequencies and vibrations, spirals, sacred geometry, you name it. This is how we see. This is how we are. There is no linear here. There is no past or no future. And everything is... Um, it's completely different than it was uh, when we were limited to a, I call it a single dimension, which means um, not being able to move, completely limited. Um, the old mindset, our human mind literally did not have the capacity to see any of this. Um, from a physical standpoint, uh, the blockages that were in place the photonic energy that we integrate inside of us actually opens up the neural pathways, um, neurotransmitters. Um, it races in around inside our body as we uh, let go. Um, the density that mm, took up space inside our physical body actually um, frees up, it clears. Um, that density is gone. Um, it doesn't. How do I say this? Take up space anymore. So our cells actually um, charge. Uh, we are crystals, crystalline. Yes, literally. Um, I've got crystals uh, breaking out. Not really. All, all over my face. Um, they break up into little particles. Our star particles are crystalline. Um, same thing, different activation. Um, but they're all technically um, a part of the whole. And so many have separated the journey and to be this or that. It isn't this or that, it's this and that, it's all things. Um, it is quantum, it is mastery, it is all at the same time. There is no separation from one to another as we come to become energy again. And our memories, uh, for many of us I am sure, because there's never just one of us here, that's what we like to think as a human, and, but technically, nope. Uh, lots of us doing this, uh, some of us are more vocal. 
and it's there a lot as way showers and but technically all our way showers as well all our light workers all our civic masters you will just see me here uh, you will just hear me see me observe me using these terms and um, because my memories are of this I, I I actually exist at this frequency um, in order to be able to transmit realities um, at will. That's fun. <laughs> and I don't get to share as much as I would love to. Um, I can say we can speak and boom, happens right then. That is uh, no more separation inside. Now, um, the time we move into... It becomes more instant because we are more unified. Separation of all things. Um, we held it. And it kept the quantum field in place. Um, we walk as the unified field now. No separation. Our energy is it. Um, total unification um, inside. Um, we never go unconscious again. We never forget. Um, every moment is transmitted from a place of love um, as light we're light transmitters we're huge crystals we are the crystalline grid we're pillars of light and many of us uh, have seen this for years um, in our dream state gotta move over so the cars can go by in our dream state and um, other states and most do not quite understand that your dream is a, an actual reality as well um, there's so many facets to this journey uh, that are <laughs> sorry I got to share I know I get excited over what others Look at the colors, how exquisite this is. I get excited over what others uh, consider uh, whatever. Uh, for us, everything is important. Everything is sacred. This entire journey is. I'm sorry if you can't see me as I walk. I'm out on the street as cars walk past. I guess I should get out of these people's driveway in case they pull in. Um, now, I don't know where I was. Talking about multidimensionality. Okay, um, I think the most important part of what I want to say today is that there is an actual materialized physical reality for every dimension, for every, um, every dimension. Um, thing about it is, is that we actually get to walk in a, just a multitude of them here. Um, now, I don't separate the dimensions, and so what I've been walking in for a long time, in the physical, others are now giving labels to, which is fine. It actually has helped me to see 5th, 6th, and 7th, and, and so on. Um, but to, to separate them, to understand them, then we just put them all back again. Um, we don't really care, and it's a human thing. Here, I'm going to share. Uh, but, and the mountains are awesome here. But the thing about it is, is that, and I guess I'll turn around and go back. The physical reality we get is the one that we transmit from inside. Now, if you're unconscious, you're transmitting your old programs. You are transmitting that which holds density still. Um, unconscious means you're transmitting fear, doubt, blame, shame, guilt, all of that stuff that everyone is here to clear. Now, once you've cleared it, then you are light. Um, now, do you have physical density? Yes. And it, it, but the thing about it is, is that's how we materialize in physical form. Uh, but all of the physical reality um, actually comes forth. Um, 
in a way that is not um, expected, which is cool. Um, when you start seeing in multiple dimensions, it gets very cute, confusing. Um, I know for me it was. I couldn't figure out which world I was in. Um, a lot of us will say, I don't want to be here anymore. I want to go. And it's very uncomfortable. You've got one foot in each world. One feels four, and you feel like an alien on this planet. Well, that's kind of true. We are. Um, we're all things. Um, it gets very foreign when you've got one foot in each dimension and you're trying to straddle the dimensions and anchor them here. Um, you have opened up uh, to multiple dimensions. Um, the only thing is that it takes a while to synchronize them um, in the physical inside of you. And so this is very confusing. We go through a lot of weird stuff. The physical body going from carbon based to crystalline uh, takes on a whole new um, aspect that most do not yet comprehend. The body goes completely haywire. Our physical organs have to shut down. Everything has to reverse itself. Um, if you wish to ascend in the physical, you have to. Um, yes, you go through multiple deaths. Um, emotional, uh, mental, uh, physical. Uh, but as in the old days, before 2012 occurred, when all the dimensions opened up, for us to um, start to walk in and embody here. The, and I don't know if you can hear me with the wind, so I do apologize. The ability to ascend in the physical um, changed. And so the perception that you have to die to ascend is no longer true, hasn't been for a really long time. There's a version of everybody in every dimension. Um, there is a version of everybody everywhere your version, holding that vibration, not um, going back to the old version, um, is what you're here to do. Sorry. Um, we are all here uh, to embrace this journey. None of us are victims, and a lot of people... Um, Along the way, we want to get off the ride. We want to untake the blue pill. We want to go back. You can't. Um, once you start waking up, it, it's um, needless to say, very confusing and, and cha chaotic as you go to transcend duality um, inside. Um, many still look at that outside world and they want to know why. Um, it isn't until you become a creator and a master or there isn't until it's as you become a creator and a master again you start to truly understand that that is your creation you created that everything is a part of the program um, it's, it's which illusion you want to live in and do you want to live in the old illusion and keep playing in that or do you want a new illusion um, it's cool because the illusion actually anchors in and um, your frequency dictates uh, the one that you get, to what you participate in. Uh, this dictates your world. Uh, you do have to choose which one you want to play in. And I do mean play because it is a lot of fun. Uh, some days, not so fun. Um, but it's not painful anymore. There's no physical pain. Um, that does go. So for those who are having a rough time, um, every bit of separation and density... Um, has to go uh, from inside of you that is of the old belief systems and it is being unanchored and de-densified from inside your teeth your bones your muscles your skin everything um, it's gotta go and yes it's painful um, for a while um, it depends on what you go through some of it um, will come up and go and then it'll come back around again because you're constantly moving between frequencies and dimensions um, every human perception is backwards and reverse upside down every human belief um, you gotta figure out which one is true you have to uh, unbelieve everything and start to believe um, what you know inside and that means no safety mechanisms jumping 